Well, now to that incredible match at Tynecastle. Hearts, remember, went into this game with a one-point lead at the top of the table. The goals are described by Peter Martin. The wheels looked as though they'd come off the Hearts bandwagon when they went a goal behind after just five minutes. Jerome Verai's effort is blocked. Ali Mitchell throws it to Pat Nevin. And he fired it past Rusi. 1-0 Kilmarnock. Pat Nevin delighted with his second goal for his new club. It took the league leaders just five minutes to draw level. Stefano Salvatore's cross was buried by Stefan Adam. 1-1. Adam in for John Robertson, rising well, but the marking from McGowan wasn't up to scratch. The home side almost fell behind again. Ali Mitchell's shot skimmed Rusi's crossbar. World Cup hopeful Neil McCann did his France 98 chances no harm whatsoever by creating Hart's second goal. He got some help from his friends before crashing the ball home himself. A great piece of football by McCann. A little bit of luck there, but it's 2-1 Hearts. Steve Fulton's free kick set up Hart's third goal. 16 minutes after the restart, a second goal for Stefan Adam. 3-1 to Hearts, and the Ten Castle faithful delighted. We are heading on the free kick, and Adam out jumping Lachlan to score. A minute later, Nevin with a lovely pass to Riley, a nice back heel, and Holt finishes it off. 3-2. Lovely piece of skill, and the low drive beating Rissi at his left hand. Thomas Vogel sent a great ball through to Stefan Adam. He beats the offside trap, and it's 4-2 hearts. Poor defending by both teams here, but a goals feast for everybody inside Tynecastle. Six minutes later, a real scramble in the Hearts box, and it ends with David Weir fouling Jerome Verai. Referee Alan Freeland awarding a penalty kick. Mark Roberts with a perfect record from the spot, and it's now 4-3. Four minutes remaining, Hearts replaced Neil McCann with new boy Jose Kitongo, and he didn't take long to make an impact. Great passing move here by Hearts, tied up the points with only two minutes remaining. Hamilton to Salvatore, then it's Adam, and then at the back post, it's Jose Catongo, 5-3 to Hearts. Two goals in three games for Catongo, and Hearts now well in front at the top after this eight-goal cracker. And there's a confirmation. Hearts now four points clear at the top of the Bells Premier Division. Rangers are second on 29 points, with Celtic a further one behind. And looking at the